Okay, so here's the beginning sculpture for a uh, new Terminator makeup. Um, this is just a sculpt of the uh, skull, and this is going to be cast in fiberglass. It's going to be overlaid with a, um, a gelatin uh, makeup to simulate the uh, torn flesh. Okay, so this is a putty silicon that I'm mixing up here. Um, this is the uh, silicon there. As you can see, it's quite uh, viscous, not particularly runny at all. And this here is the catalyst, which we're going to mix together. Okay, so I've now mixed it down to a nice uh, even consistency, and we're going to apply it to the uh, sculpture. Okay, now that's completely covered. Uh, once that's hardened, we'll be putting a layer of plaster over it, so uh, to give it a hard case. Okay, so here's the um, silicon um, putty silicon mould. I've embedded some um, what's called plasterous scrim, which is basically hessian in the um, silicon, uh, so it's sort of stuck to it. The idea is that when I put a uh, hard case of uh, plaster over this, the um, the hessian will help the uh, silicon and the plaster stick together so that they're one piece. Uh, but there's the finished mould with the impression of the metal skull, and there's our moderately clean face face cast. What we're going to do now is pour in some uh, resin clamp two together and that will give us an impression from the mould. Okay so here's a cast of the uh, metal skull section made in resin that will just come out of the mould there. Okay so uh, here's one I made earlier and um, this is a cast from the mould uh, which I've previously shown you and I've cast it in resin which has been uh, mixed with an aluminium powder. The idea of that is that you can um, basically polish it to give it a kind of a metallic sheen. Uh, it's not quite as shiny as you might like, I mean it's not like chrome like it is in the film, but um, I don't know, what do you imagine? Probably close enough, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see I've got an LED um, embedded in the eyepiece there, and it's actually made from uh, the wheel of a toy car, and a bit from my camera. At the front of it's kind of a, a jewellery thing from like, I think it's a stud you're meant to make jewellery out of. I'll just flip it over. Um, it's all held in place by a bit of like um, soft foam. You see there's a couple of wires going down there and the wires will be kind of uh, fed underneath the makeup and um, sort of out over my, uh, my ear. Okay, I forgot to shoot some video of this but here's some stills of the sculpture for the gelatin flesh piece. is a plaster mould of the actual uh, flesh section that's been taken from the um, sculpture that was made on here and it's got the impression of all of the torn flesh and what I'm going to do is fill this with gelatin then take our resin piece of skull place that in there like so the interior will be covered in gelatin and then all of that gets placed over the face cast and the gelatin will fill the uh, impression made within the mould and then we'll have the uh, the finished cast of our makeup. Okay so here's our gelatin cast which we've just pulled out of the mould uh, not looking too bad actually. Um, the resin piece that we had uh, in there already uh, is still in there so I'm going to pull that out uh, clean it up and put the, uh, the metal piece in that we've already uh, cast up. Okay, so here's the finished um, appliance, uh, which I've painted. Obviously, put the blood in there, put a bit of a skin pigment on the actual gelatin piece, and it's got the uh, metal eye piece in there as well. Okay, so here's the Terminator makeup, uh, all stuck on. Uh, got me. I've had it on for quite a while now, and it's getting a little bit uncomfortable. Um, as with everything, these things never seem to come out quite as well as you'd like them to. Um, I still have a problem getting the edges done, and I think the uh, skin pigmentation hasn't quite come out correctly. But, um, can live with it. <laughs>